can come out of that. Yeah. But for the most part, it's work. You come to work, you do your job, and, and that's it. Now, at the end of the day, of course, there's beautiful women, beautiful men. You know, it's bound that you you gonna. You're gonna be like, oh man, that's a fine looking woman. You know what right. I mean? <laughs> Especially if y'all got a, a kissing scene together, y'all talking, and it's just like, oh, okay. All right. <laughs> how do you, you prepare for that though? Like, yeah, I, or you can talk to that person, they could be fine as day, but you the more you talk to them, you be like, I don't think I want to get with that person. They crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I mean, it, it happens, it happens, you know what I mean? It doesn't happen a lot, it doesn't happen a lot, but it, it happens. Yeah. Yeah, how do you prepare for a kissing scene though? I mean, you know, the regular acting parts, you talking out your lines, mm -hmm. you're doing your thing, you gotta get your pronunciation right. How do you prepare for kissing somebody that you don't even want to kiss for real? Well, <laughs> it depends on if you really want to kiss that person. <laughs> like, I mean, I know my roles, I don't mind kissing them. You know, they ain't never get no like, oh, I gotta go to work and Kiss this beautiful woman. Oh, <laughs> God, no, 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 I ain't never been that. We definitely ain't never been that. It's been like, okay, we got a kissing scene today. Who's <laughs> gonna, who gonna get? Who's gonna get some of these luscious lips? Who's gonna get some of these luscious lips? Do that hurt you huh? at home? You know what I mean? Well, like, at, the end, at the end of the day, the person that you're with, they're if they met you and you're in the industry, that's just a part of the game, period. Yeah. Either you're gonna either you're gonna accept that or you're not gonna accept that. But anybody that I'm with, you know that's a part of my job. I'm not going to compromise what I have at home for it, but know that's my job, period. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's just what it is. And you just have to have somebody who's strong. And then, of course, you have to make sure that, you know, you are, you know, reassuring that person that everything is good. But it's just a job. That's yeah. that's all it is. Yeah. That's all it is. Yeah. Well, that's good. That's a good that's a good <laughs> answer. That's a good answer. Yeah. Leave it out. I right. mean, but do you bring your do you bring your significant other to the kissing scene and make them more comfortable? Uh -huh. What do you no. do? I mean, that, that, how no. do you work this we, out? We, 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 nah, it, that's just, that's just like, if I go to, if I go to my, if I go to a significant other's job every day, yeah, that's, that's weird. <laughs> you don't do that. That's weird. It's like, it's you know what I'm saying? Monitor me and then I'm picking up on your vibes and it's like, yeah, it's nice. Happy now, I mean, you know, those those who are, you know, a plus a a a list celebrities and big budgets and things that nature. Yeah, they bring their significant other on set to hang out. But that's not a thing of just like, oh, I'm, come on to work with me because it's it's long days. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's 10, 13, 16 hour days. I don't think anybody want to be on set that long. Yeah. Wait, how many hours? No, oh, it, it can go from 10, 13, 16 hour days. Oh Lord! Yeah, yeah it's long. We did the, the one movie. We did the one the movie. I did like ten hours. Just, just yeah, a lot of work. Yeah. a lot of it's a lot fun, of hurry though. up and wait. It's a lot of hurry up and wait. Yeah, yeah, it is a lot of hurry. But it was fun when I did a, a movie. It is a different experience, man. Yeah, to be somebody else and step mm -hmm. outside of yourself and be somebody else. It is mm -hmm. a, uh, it is kind of fulfilling. It's almost like you get to live more than one life. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know, so mm -hmm. I, I do get the dopeness of it. I yes. mean, what? But you do have to be careful, though, because what was that? It was a while ago. I remember we were talking about this. There was an actor that actually their whole life became a problem because they acted a role out. I think it was like a gangster in the role. And they just, yeah, couldn't, I know, get back. I know they just couldn't get back to reality. Yeah. And it literally ruined the, their lives. I hear that mm -hmm. a lot with actors. They say sometimes they get so deep into the character. It take them months. To get out of the character and get back to yourself. It's it's different strokes for different folks. You know what I'm saying? It, for you, how do you handle it? Do you, is, can you snap out of it usually? Yeah, yeah. I think. I mean, I can do. You know, give me a day. I can decompress a couple of hours. I can decompress um, and separate myself from that. So it's it's up to the individual. You know what I mean? Everybody has their method to their madness. Um, but you know, once it's cut. I'm just Kareem Grimes. I'm back home, chilling. You know what right, I'm saying? That's dope. Now yeah. we talked a lot about All American. Mm -hmm. uh, what What was one of your favorite films or favorite projects that you worked on yourself? Be outside of All American. 
Oh man, it's um it's quite a few. I mean, you know, um I was able to act alongside Clint Eastwood in um the mule, you know what I'm saying? So that that was pretty dope. This somebody that my grandmother and and you know my mom and family and friends watched Clint Eastwood. Yeah. I watched Clint Eastwood and yeah. be able to, you know, be in a scene and, and go back and forth for him. That that was dope. Um, let's see. Um, a lot of them, man. Baby boy, I was, you know, I was, I was John Singleton's assistant, but mm. I was also in the movie. But I, I did, I did so much. Like I recorded all the the auditions. So if you guys, I think either Tyrese or Taraji put up her, um, yeah, her audition, yeah, with Tyrese. I'm, I'm the one that recorded that. Yeah, because yeah. you're a producer as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So so I was able, you know, I, I recorded that. That whole I was there the whole process when when John, you know, started from pre-production production to post-production. So to see that movie being made from from beginning to end was dope and and to have input as well um, you know, was dope. Um it's it's so many. It's it's like I, I have I have my little moments in, in in bits and pieces from projects that I've done, uh, you know that that means so much to me. Sound like an interesting life for real. Sound like a good life. What are some of your most recent projects that you have going on? Um, I have a show. Uh, we just finished the second season. It's called For the Love of Jason. It's on All Black Network. Um, so we just finished that. That'll probably be out summer. Um, I have a project out now, short form, uh, on Amazon called Super Single, uh, that came out last week. Um, I have another film coming out with Brian Hooks called Adam and Eve. Uh, I think that may be on Netflix, not sure yet. Um, what else? Uh, I do voiceovers for uh, Buffalo Wild Wings, so we got a campaign coming up for March Madness. Okay. Um, and then I was working. That's my spot. Yeah. It is working. <laughs> it is working. I was trying to get him. I was trying to get a BBW date this week. He yeah. Was like, oh, it's coming. It's coming. You got it. Yeah. 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 Thank and I, I, it ain't nowhere but up from here, man. I can see you being the next. I mean, you've been going up. You've been going up. There's nowhere but for up. What Cardi said, if it's up, then it's stuck. It's up. I mean, yeah, how yeah. are you dealing with? I mean, you're a celebrity, man. How is you dealing with you are. being famous? You are. I mean, it's, you it's, on a, you I was on. literally just having this conversation <laughs> um, not too long ago as far as just saying the word celebrity. Um and I think it's 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 still it tickles me because for me as an artist, I just do the work, mm -hmm. you know, and to have people recognize that and really connect with this character on this TV show um, is like I said, it's 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 mind blowing and it's it's always interesting when people say, "Man, you a celebrity, you a celebrity," and then whenever I go out. No matter where I go, if I have my mask on or whatever, people recognize me like, oh, it's the eyes or the hair or yeah. I heard you talk and it's just yeah. like crazy. So it's one of those things like as a young kid, you know, I definitely dreamed about. But um, to actually be in it is it's interesting. It's definitely humbling. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. More than anything uh, that people take the time out to watch my work and really connect with it. So um you know, it's it's a blessing. It's a blessing. I don't take it for granted. Um, and you know, I you know, I try to, you know, take as many pictures or respond to people as as much as I can because uh, you know, they they took their time out to watch me. So, you know, I can at least give, you know, a minute or two, a couple of minutes to 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 show that love back. Now I want to ask this because I saw a video of you. And you were shouting out your friend. I think you had like some joggers and you were just right. shouting out love to him. And you were talking about why, like just how important it was to just show love and support mm -hmm. your friends and family. Right. Why is that so important to you? Um, I think it is. It's, it's very important. I think, you know, uh, you, you have people who are, you know, going out for their dreams and, and doing things and, you know, 
the position that I'm in to have a platform, you know, you want to be 